Radio Live with Ken Williams. What's up? You're watching Mid-South Wrestling, the home where the real bad boys play. And we have a lot of action in store for you. A full card of everything you could want from a psychotic one. LSB Hall, man, I tell you. <laughs> oh, every time I think about him, I know he's somebody I don't want to meet in a dark alley. No doubt. And speaking of not wanting to meet, there's a pair of hombres who rolled into town from a state just a little ways away from here. Uh, the bad boys from Texas. I tell you what, they come in here and they try not to take no prisoners. Um, you never know what they're going to do next. Texas outlaws, and they keep saying it don't happen unless they say it happens, and they've always got that smirk on their face, so they're up to something, no doubt. And speaking of uh, other tag teams, the Mexicutioners and uh, Bad bromance. Bad bromance. They're young, they got a chip on their shoulders, and they coming in blazing a trail, man. I can't wait to see what's going on with them. Let's go to the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, damas y caballeros, nosotros somos los Mexicutioners. Jesus Rodriguez, Rey Martinez, so ponte listo esta noche. Tonight, we are ready to shake things up here in Mid-South Wrestling. We are ready, estamos listos para luchar. Estos cerros somos la gente a luchar. Jesus Rodriguez, dile, compa. Aquí les vamos a poner yo, Jesus Rodriguez, el señor Rey Martinez. Venimos aquí a Arkansas. Vamos a luchar por todo el estado. Y espero que, nos, que venga nuestro público a apoyarnos a nosotros todas las noches que estamos aquí. Um, ya estamos todos listos para luchar a todos aquí esta noche so, duelo, pa, pa, por, que se vienen aquí nosotros somos los Mexicutioners otra vez Jesús Rodríguez Rey Martínez y estamos listos para luchar we're going to take a, a look back at a finish uh, from a match of, from about a week ago between the Mexicutioners and the Texas Outlaws um, we're going to find out what Mr. Bobby Burns meant by when he put it so elegantly, we rang their bell. Mr. Ash, this is one of the most absurd finishes I've ever seen to a match in my life. Oh, when the Texas Outlaws are involved, I mean, you can expect anything. As you can see right now, Bobby Burns has got the bell in his hand. It's attached to a long rope. It's a big cowbell. Now, the referee's been distracted by his partner, and he just hit the executioner over the head with that big bell. And believe me, I've been hit with a couple of those, and it will cross your eyes. And so, see, he's acting like he got hit, rang the bell, and the executioner's got the evidence that he's got the bell wrapped around him. So the referee thinks he's the one who takes his out well with it. Well, uh, I see Mr. Harden now on the outside there pleading the case for the Texas Outlaws. Um, you know, I, I feel sorry for the referee because they're pulling him in both directions, and I'm sure he's confused and doesn't know what's really going on. Well, yeah, but that, you know, that's a referee's job to know what he's going on, and sometimes you don't always get it right. You do the best you can do. You know, when you turn around and the guy's he's got the incriminating evidence in his hand, you tend to think he's the offending party. Oh, here we go. Oh, well, I was going to say we were having a meeting of the minds in center ring, but uh, it looks like uh, a Ray from the Mexicutioners decided he'd heard all, had heard all he could take. I don't understand why his partner just standing there looking. When Dave, uh, David and I were tag partners, one of us is involved, we're both involved. Uh, and as well as that's the way it should be, I guess maybe he thought his partner had everything under control. Yeah, but <laughs> you don't just assume. I mean, if you're going to take it to him, take it to him, baby, all the way. Well, the executioners cleared the ring. Looks like that cowbell's still in the ring. And uh, there's Jesus, and uh, he's got a little prize, don't he, Mr. Ash? Yep, but that's what they meant by ringing the bell. The main event of the evening, featuring one of our premier tag teams here at Mid-South, the executioners, And they're taking on Kyle Everlast and his new partner, the 400-pound assassin. This guy is huge, Mr. Ash. Yes, he is big. He's a big boy. I used to, one of the things I liked when I was wrestling was I love chopping those big boys down. You don't take them on front on, but you chop them from the side, from behind, and you just keep chopping till you get them down. And boy, when they go down, they go down hard. Well, I tell you, I've seen the executioners quite a few times now, and uh, I, I'm, I'm just really impressed. They're not real big, but they're quick, 
They're smart and they work really well together. Yes, they do. And they've got a fire in their belly. And they're, they're thinking wrestlers. See, right here, what he's doing is getting inside the big man's head. He's saying, come on, catch me, big man. Catch me, big man. When you get inside a big uh, uh, any opponent's head, you've got the advantage on him. That's what he's doing. He's just delivering him a message. Come on, you're not as fast as I am, and i got the advantage on you. Oh, that's smart. See, there? I don't care how big you are. When you get when that knee goes, you're going down. So he's chopping that tree down. That's it. Keep chopping. Well, I'll tell you, Jesus uh, from the Mexicutioners, well, he's got a lot of tools. I mean, he's not real, real big, but he's got a little bit of size, but he's quick. And, uh, boy, I'll tell you, when he gets on you, he stays on you. Well, what I like about the Mexicutions is these boys are warriors. They got a fire in their belly, and when they come, they, they come to fight. Well, he just rolled the big man over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a big boy. And the thing about size is, like they say, you can't teach that. So when you were a big man like that, once you get an advantage of him, you better not give it up. Well, I tell you, Jesus is a... Hey, this is doing a pretty good job of staying on top of this big guy. Yes, he is. He went back to that knee. Start, chopped on that knee, went back to that knee, now making making a tag. Yeah, what are they doing here? Uh, well, you know, you got to watch. They don't want to get ta uh, counted out. A little tag little, team. little double team action there. Mm -hmm. Ray trying for the pin. I don't think they got this big guy worn down quite enough just yet, though. No, uh -uh. they, they, they got to pound on this boy a while longer. He, he's, even if he's not the, the most agile guy in the world, he's still big. Oh, right into a bear hug. Oh, Ray fought out of it, though. Yep. These boys, these boys are warriors. They, they come to fight. That's a big old boy he's in there. Well, uh, well, you know what? I, I know since coming to Mid-South, uh, the, uh, the Mexicutioners and the Outlaws have, uh, have hooked horns on more than one occasion. And uh, I, you know what? Oh, man, that, that's, a, that, that's a nasty, nasty thing brewing there. Oh, and I can't wait to see them when they really hook up for a good one, because that's going to be something. That, that'll be a, a fight. I'm looking forward to it, and it will happen. You can see it's coming. Well, Ray, oh, well, he's trying to get back on top of the big guy. Yeah, like I said, size, you can't teach size, and it's a definite advantage. What a move from the big man. Yep. Yep. There he come in, made the save on his, save his partner. That's what you do in tag team action. You work together. You work together. I think the big boy, even though it, you know that pounding is taking a, is uh, taking a toll on him, he's feeling he's starting to get out of breath. That's why he got his partner in there. Well, he's been in there for a while, and uh, Mr. Everlast is getting to see his first action of the night, and uh, I'm sure he's a lot fresher than Ray. Well, yes, yeah. That that's a secret to tag team action is tag in and out, in and out, in and out. Don't keep a freshman in there all the time. And then when you get the advantage, don't give it up. Oh, nice. Yeah, that, that one wasn't very that much, but that first one caught him right in the chin. Well, that's a nice little move from Ray. Uh-huh. Yeah, but uh, they, they haven't worn this guy down enough to, make, to really pin successfully pin him, especially when that big weight difference. He's still working on him pretty good, though. Yeah, still working on him. Nice reverse for Mr. Everlast. <laughs> yeah, well, it's, it's not. It's never fun to get pinned between that turnbuckle and an onrushing body. Believe me, that will take it out of you. Especially a body as big as Kyle Everlast is carrying around. Yeah, but like I said, the executioners are warriors. He's not going to give up. He keeps fighting back. Keeps finding a way. Those those little punches. It just it's over a period of time. They wear you down. Now that'll take it out of you. Nice little neck breaker from the executioner. Keep on him, keep on him, keep on him. It's a war of attrition. Oh, very nice. That was the Oklahoma Stampede. This might be it. No, not enough. He's, they got to work on him a little more. Yeah, Mr. Everlast dug down deep. Managed to kick out. Oh, ooh, I 
thought he was going to get caught in that, in that corner there for a minute. Yeah, he was just in time. But see, he's making a mistake. He shouldn't. He had he had the man going. He shouldn't have let, he, let let a fresh man come in. That was a mistake. You don't let that happen. When you get a guy and you you've been working on him, you do not let him make that tag. See, that's what happens. You pay the price. And Jesus is fresh and uh, he's ready to go. Yep, that was a nice little move. A near pinfall right there from Jesus. Mm -hmm. Right back up and boots to the back. You know, tag team wrestling is different than single wrestling. There, there's a real psychology in tag team wrestling. And and the ones that are successful are not necessarily the biggest ones or even the, the guys that are the best athletes, but the guys that are the most successful are the guys that figure out a strategy, have a game plan, and they figured out how to combine their, their, their individual talents into a, a team situation that works. Well, I'm not sure what this is right here, Mr. Ash, but it sure did look painful. Yeah, but see, the big man is so much bigger, he just rolled him right out of it. That's the thing about size. You can't teach it. It's there. It's a mountain that, that you got to climb, and that's what the Mexicans are climbing that mountain with these two big boys right now. Well, if I was Mr. Everlast, uh, I think I'd think about, there it is. I was just going to say, I think I'd think about getting that big man back in the ring. These guys are gonna get counted out if they keep that. Ah, oh, now see, that was smarter than Max Kuchner. He dropped, let, it, let the big man take his own partner out. I can't believe the big man got up that high for a, uh, a, a kick. He did, he he did get serious, some serious heights for that 400 pounds in the air. And he obviously did some damage because that was good <laughs> for the one, two, three. Took his own partner out. And Oh, and Ray just threw him out like the garbage. Well, hello, all of you morons again. You know, I could sit here and I could rant. I could rave. I could tell you about how good we are, how pretty we are, and just how great all together and from the great state of Texas. But, you know, I'm not going to tell you that because you all don't need to know that because you already know that. You've seen us. You've watched us. Hey, when you're good, you're good. So I don't have to tell you that we're good. I don't have to tell you that we're great. And you certainly can see, we are definitely pretty. So, you know, <laughs> I just want to say hello and good day to all you folks out there. And uh, uh, what do you want to tell them? I don't know. Well, I'll tell you what. We came through here. <laughs> we really rang their bell, didn't we? Oh, ding-a-ling. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's not a whole lot else to say, but see you soon. Now that is some serious wrestling action, Tim. Man, I'll tell you, the executioners they looked awesome. They're out there, they, they made a statement with this match. And you know what, Bill? This is the first time I've ever seen a tag team use another man's weight to their advantage. No doubt about it, then uh, that's gonna build up some bad blood between these two teams. And they are gonna be serious, serious brawling after this, no doubt. Thank you for joining us here at Mid-South Wrestling Next week, same station, same time. For Ken Williams, I'm Bill Henry Reedy. Good night.